Good on the IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm with the Barton Card Arena in Birmingham. And with me, I've got still WBA world champion Cal Uh A tough fight against Murunaka. Uh, tough guy. You've got him everything, as, as you can tell by the, the ass on the hands. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, very tough. Tough kid. Um, tougher than what he looked. Took some, took some big shots, kept coming. Um, yeah, it was good. Take some positives from it. I mean, you and your brother, you, you had some come forward opponents tonight. They just weren't weren't going out for anything. Nah, nah, nah. They, uh, they, they they come in there to have a good go and they, they come to win, um, which is good. Obviously, the fans were behind you for, uh, throughout the whole fight, which is obviously good to know. Um, I know you would have loved the, the knockout finish, but like I said, he was a, he was a tough opponent. Um, would you expect him to be that tough? Um, yeah, I was, you know, I've seen his fight. He's never been stopped. Undefeated in ten years. Um, so yeah, you know. I thought this at times I was a bit too strong for him, but um, yeah, he just he stuck in there and he, you know, did a bit of everything. Yeah. Obviously, apart from the point, it was a it was a shout out decision. Do you feel like that was the right decision? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, in the camp, obviously, coming up to this fight, you had quite a bit of notice. What did you think you would bring, and did he bring what you thought he would? Um, yeah, I knew he was going to come forward non-stop all night, um, and that's what he did. And I just had to, you know, try and break him apart, and I just picked him up really. Obviously, with the hands now, a bit of time out. Just see how they are. Just take my time with them. Um, in the past, I've, I've, I've rushed back in the gym, but um, I've just got to take my time, let them heal, and then get back in when I'm ready. You're not going to shoot out to the Dominican, your brother? No, no, no. See, look, he, he's getting too fancy, isn't he? Yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's, getting, he's getting that money now, so <laughs> you can go to all these fancy places, you can knock Egypt on the head now. Isn't he? <laughs> I spoke to him, he said that everything he does, he does for the family, uh, like the pride of the, your fine name. Are you the exact same? 100%, yeah. Um, you know, we just want to keep flying the flag for, for boxing in Birmingham, um, just keep building the name, and that's it. Obviously, Sam getting done the job tonight, your brother did the job, and yeah. so did you, which means big time boxing is going to come back to Birmingham, obviously. Are you buzzing about that as well? Yeah, 100%. Uh, you know, it's, it's a brilliant show tonight. Um, I can't wait to go home and watch Gamal's fight. I didn't get to watch it. Watch Sam's fight, um, and yeah, just enjoy a bit, a bit of time off. Um, watch mine back. Look at what I've got, to, what I've got to work on in the gym, and uh, just keep working on it. Obviously, if everything is okay, when can people ex expect to see you out? Um, you'd have to ask Eddie that, but it'll probably be probably September time now. Hopefully, if, um, if we can get back, get back in the gym soon after these healed. Right, then, mate. Obviously, listen. All the best with the recovery. Hopefully, you're back soon as. But obviously, congratulations tonight. You are still the WBA champion of the world, uh, but thank you for giving some time for IFO TV and I'll catch up with you soon. Anytime. Something.